That is right, my massive Star Wars piece will debut at Alamo City Comic Con in 2017. It's an eight part piece, each one representing one of the Star Wars movies that has come out. The date for Alamo City Comic Con has changed. Memorial Day weekend, May 26 to 28, 2017. I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna push myself. I'm gonna go sleepless nights. I'm gonna work the hardest I've ever worked in my life to get this piece done for Alamo City Comic Con. So I got offered to do a comic book. Yeah, a few days ago, uh, I got an email from an editor I've worked with before. Uh, I haven't heard from him in a while, and he actually asked me if I'd be willing to work on a major comic book. You know, at first, the first thing I, I knew, I can't do it. I knew right away I can't do this comic book because, you know, I'm trying to finish off the Star Wars piece and get that done for me, and I had to turn him down right away. And I've been explaining to a lot of you that uh, I'm pretty much been there, done that. I don't need to do a comic book anymore. I've done that. You know, my younger self has done that. And then I started thinking about it, you know. <laughs> My wife's gonna hate me saying this, and I'll tell you that right now. I thought it would be interesting just to give it a try. And I thought, wouldn't that be great for you guys if, if I were to document that, that whole process of me getting a script, running through it, actually putting the comic book together, and then you guys seeing how it ends off. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe the possibilities for me to do a few covers down the line. We'll see. But... It was just an interesting thought I had this week, so. So whenever my uh, artwork is done, whenever I'm done a piece, I actually separate all the boards and I actually throw them uh, in a two, into a portfolio, uh, just pretty much to protect all the pages because you, you never know, right? <laughs> Some coffee spills on it or whatever, so I just want to make sure they're protected. So I just want to show you the book that I actually put them in here. Regular, I tell you, uh, portfolio here, so I separate them and then then I throw them all in this book here. Which is kind of interesting, kind of neat to see all of them here. And then the amount of detail that I put in every single uh, comic book page, it is nice to see how they kind of separate one on one. But uh, yeah, this is, this is how I'm gonna store all of the artwork when they are done. Just so for sure I know that uh, they're gonna be safe and uh, ready to go to show everybody at the end of the day, so. So the first thing I want to do is give all of you <laughs> the props and, and my eternal thanks uh, for all the support for my last uh, Star Wars piece, the episode 3, and it went over really well. Uh, I got some great feedback from all of you guys, and uh, I can't, again, it kind of went viral on um, Facebook. So uh, I want to thank you guys for that. So I, I think we're on to something here, you know? It feels good when you have that sort of validation, when people are liking it, they're tagging their friends, wanting to see it. So it, that really does give me a little bit more motivation to get this done, uh, working those long hours uh, to, to try to see this through. Because I'll let you guys know, those last uh, two days before I was going to release it, I didn't know if I was going to make it. Uh, you know, I stay, I stayed up pretty late. Uh, I woke up pretty early. <laughs> But with that, I, I did make the deadline, but I knew in my heart that that wasn't the test, okay? The second piece wasn't the test. It would be the one I'm working on right now. I only have two weeks to do it, and I'll let you guys know right now, um, I'm not feeling confident. So pretty much, uh, I'm re working on Return of the Jedi. That was the next one I wanted to do. Uh, for the most part, I've done all of the big faces. All in all, I think I'm about one third of the way there, which was not what I wanted for the first week. Um, so I'm going to really have to figure out how I'm going to get more work done uh, within the next week to see if I could actually make that deadline that I set, which was February 6th, to release uh, the Return of the Jedi piece. You know? I don't want to rush it. I really don't. Uh, I want every piece to be just as detailed. I want every piece to be, uh, you know, quality-wise, to be the same and consistent throughout. So if it if it comes, I might need an extra day or so. I might just go ahead and do that. But uh, at the same time, time's a ticking. So with that, uh, I've done a lot of thinking about how I'm going to complete this piece and. 
Uh, admittedly, like the, the timeline was just too short. Like each of these pieces takes me two weeks to do, two and a half, looks like two and a half weeks to do, and there's just not enough time. Uh, again, if the con was still in November, uh, no problem. I wouldn't have any worries at all, and honestly, I would be doing more for my channel. But because of that, and because I really need to get this done, and even more importantly, because I need to get this colored by Alamo City Comic Con, I finally decided to hand off the color reins to someone else. I put a few feelers out of who else I could work with to help me get this piece done. And I, um, I decided on someone who I've worked with before, he's really, really talented, and I know he's going to do an amazing, amazing job on this piece. Uh, he is at Daimuch, his name is Joshua Perez, uh, and we've worked together before. We've worked together a long, long, long time ago uh, when I was working at Dreamwave. We worked together on a title called Transformers Energon 24, which was, I believe was actually his very first professional work. And he has done a lot of work since then, working for IDW, working on uh, colors for Transformers. And he worked with me on Dark Cybertron a few years ago in 2013. He was one of my main colorists for Dark Cybertron. We've worked together before. If you guys have seen my Deadpool and Cable piece, uh, we collaborated on that piece. You know, he did the initial colors and I went on top. And pretty much that's how I'm going to be going into this piece. Josh is going to come in and work all of his color magic, and then I'm going to go on top, add some textures, add some effects on top, pretty much like what we did with the Deadpool and Cable piece. So please do follow him. I'm going to put links to all of his social media down below, and please do check out some of his work. Just Google what he's been doing. Well, hopefully you can check out some of his work down below, and he's such a great guy. You'll be seeing more of him uh, in the upcoming videos as I get all these artworks in. Now with that, that you know, that frees up a little bit of my time. When I boil it down, if I do want to give myself a little bit extra time, it only equals just a few more days per piece. So I'm still going to go out through the schedule like, um, like I'm going to color it myself, so I'm still going to try to finish it when I said I'm going to finish it. But this week, this week is going to be the test. Uh, I literally have to do uh, two thirds of this piece this week to get it done for Monday next week. Uh, can I get it done? Sure, I can get it done, but I'm, of course, things will have to be sacrificed. Uh, I'm going to have to work a lot smarter when it comes to all these things, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. But with that, please know, and I say this uh, every single video, I, I do want to thank all of you for the support. Uh, really does mean a lot to me all the comments that you leave down below uh, even though I, I don't get, get to uh, answer them as as frequently as I would like um, they do mean a lot to me they they do lift me up when I'm you know when things are feeling a little down and I, I do appreciate that I do appreciate each and every one of you so thank you so much for that and uh, I'm, I'm gonna need your help I'm gonna need your help to get through this because uh, th this is going to be fun and uh, I can just imagine once all of these pieces are together and uh, just a success that will be and uh, I can knock one of those uh, ticks off my bucket list at the end of the day so it's going to be a really uh, really really fun ride so thank you guys for that and um, and yeah so thank you again for everything my name is James I'm the box office artist I'll see you guys next time.